Hello friends, Leah here, and today we have an informative video. Today we're talking about modifications for World of Tanks. Uh, mods uh, for World of Tanks is a weird topic in general, because if you ask 100 people around, each of them will have different lists of allowed and forbidden mods. I made some investigation, I looked through many internet pages and sorted my findings to make sure that I have up-to-date information with all the proof about what mods are allowed and not. I'm not going to discuss how fair these mods are. I'm alright with some of those mods, I don't like other mods and I think they shouldn't be allowed, but I'm talking only about if they are legal or not, if they are allowed or not, basically if you are going to be banned for them or not. If you don't like some of these mods here, just like I do, as I said, well, it's not really about me, all questions about why this or that is legal should be addressed to Wargaming. So, let's start with what I have for you. On 18th of November 2016, the Wargaming Community Coordinator of the European region of World of Tanks made the following post on the forum. He replied to someone who asked him about Aslan's mod pack, including uh, questionable mods, and that's the reply. Hi guys, I can confirm that all regions have the same rules and that these are the mods we're currently approving, November 2016. HP pools adds information about HP of the tanks uh, as last seen by the player. Battle assistant, alternative view for SPG, still valid and still I think uh, people say it's better than this standard battle assistant <laughs> uh, introduced by Wargame. Extended 6th stance duration, white dead tanks, that is legal. Uh, modifications to objects to make them more visible like bright yellow trains etc. Zoom out mods. Enemy gun indicators on the minimap shows direction where enemies within the draw distance are pointing their guns. I think this mod is kind of cheaty mod, but as you see, the Wargaming employee says that it's legal. Well, okay. Fog removal, sound mods, effect mods, changing how explosions look like, removing smoke, etc. Maybe you want, like, flowers exploding from tanks, I don't know. Server-side reticle, damage indicator mods. Okay, as long as they, these don't show the enemy reload time. Reload time indicator is allowed, approximate with no countdown. So basically when you point your gun at the enemy, you can see his nominal reload time or like 90% of reload time. Because still you will never know if he has uh, combat rations, if he has ventilation, if he has rammer, you don't know that. But you are allowed to have static number. Clown skins and skins that show locations of crew and modules. That is actually also legal. I think that's a questionable mod. Like, personally, I would allow everyone to see the location of crew members and modules in the garage. But, like, not in the battle. But as you see, it is allowed to use in the battle. Uh, In-game penetration indicator mods. When you point your gun at the enemy and you see effective armor there. Uh, Extended both the sound and the icon visibility of the uh, sixth sense lamp duration. Okay. Uh, received heat indicators. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Uh, well, that's the whole post of the Wargaming employee. And the link to this post will be in the description to this video, so you can read it on your own. So this whole post already clarifies most mods that are questioned by people. But one could say, hey, what if some of those mods were banned after this post was made. You have a point, but there is one thing in this post that definitely can't expire. All regions have the same rules. Because I think it would be weird if some time after this post rules started to be different for the regions. So basically you are allowed to have same mods in all regions and you'll never have problems with that. As a confirmation of that, we can see a post of Aslan himself from 7th July 2017, which is a few days ago. His mod pack is pretty popular among English-speaking players. And he's also a beta tester, as you can see. So he contacts Wargaming with Wargaming for sure. And there he confirms that all servers have identical mod rules at the moment. So not only in November 2016. The link to this post uh, is also in the description. Now let's go to the Armored Patrol, one of the most popular websites with World of Tanks related content. One of the news there says the following. Yesterday, like, the news is from 24th May 2017. Yesterday, Wargaming has launched the official site for distribution of mods. 
This is the second attempt to do something of this kind, blah blah blah. At the moment the project is in stage of public alpha, uh, will be developed and improved. Uh, now the most popular modifications for the game World of Tanks will be pre-moderated and approved, and the portal wants to guarantee relevant and working versions of your favorite modifications. And yeah, the link to this article will be in the description to this video, as well as the link to the mod portal itself. So we follow the link and we get to the official Wargaming mod portal alpha version. Here you see immediately a lot of mods available, and let me remind you that uh, these are approved by Wargaming before getting here. Basically anyone can add his mod here, but only after moderation it and tests it will appear in the list of mods, and you can see also that in the Aslan's post, which we talked about before, he says that all these are pre-approved there. And if you upload some mod to this mod portal, it won't appear on the front page immediately. It will go to testing to moderators. So all mods which you see here are completely legal, 100%. Uh, and also there is another link which I want to show you. Uh, it's for 9.18, you can see here, mods to 9.18. Uh, but we can see here all the same mod packs. They were all recommended for the game by the developers themselves on the official website of Russian Bridge of World of Tanks. And well, just now all these mod packs are on the official moderated mod pack portal. Uh, and let me remind you for the for 15th time that all rules for mods for all regions are identical, which means that all mods that from all these mod packs in mod portal are 100% checked, 100% legal in all regions of World of Tanks. North America, Europe, Asia, Russia, everywhere. By the way, Essence mod pack is also there. So let me demonstrate you some of the mods that are included in these mod packs that, as we found out, are completely legal everywhere at the moment, uh, but can cause but hurt to people who haven't watched this amazing video. Uh, I use some of those mods, as I said, other mods I stopped using some time ago for some reason, some of those mods I actually never used, but again, you are free to use them if you like them, uh, even though a pair of them could give some advantage to the player, but again, this doesn't break rules, you won't be banned for this. After all, 95% of the success on the battlefield is in decision making and knowing the enemy, and probably RNG. So here you can see me running a replay on the client on which I installed almost all possible mods from ProTanki. You can see critical hit zones, so you can see where commander is, where fuel tanks are, uh, where ammo is in the tank, uh, right on the tank itself, which is legal, which is strange, but it's legal. You can see guns on the minimaps, white dead tanks, you can see enemies nominal reload time and view range when you point your gun at the enemy, and all of this is... Well, fortunately or unfortunately legal, and there is, well, nothing that we can do. I would prefer uh, some of the mods uh, to be banned and some of the mods to be introduced for everyone, but that's how things are, so these mods are neither in the client, uh, nor they are banned, and some of them give serious advantage, especially guns on the minimaps. I think guns on the minimaps gives, like, most advantage of all those mods, and, well, I would also just put the critical heat zones mod in the garage so that you can see where fuel tanks of the tank are in the garage but not in the battle. But that's how things are and this is what ProTanki has. Same battle, same replay, different mod pack installed on my client and different mods and you can see white uh, markers appearing on my screen in the direction of the newly spotted enemies so that you can know uh, in which direction from you some enemy was spotted so you can react to that. So this is also legal and well, I would be very happy if this mod was introduced to the client itself because there is I think nothing bad in this mod. So we have the same replay and we have another mod pack installed on my client running this replay. You can see arrow to the closest enemy, green if enemy is not visible, red if enemy is in direct vision, so the enemy can shoot me, I can shoot enemy. Uh, you can see 
hit points of the tanks uh, in the tank lists uh, on the left and right of the screen. You can see 15 meter circle around me, you can toggle it on and off. Um, you can see pretty much the whole profile of the tank if you point your gun at some tank. You can see here, like, um, I point my gun at Udes, I point my gun at Bulldog, I see their armor everywhere. Well, some kind of summary. Yeah, I see their nominal reload time, I see view range, I see their alpha and penetration. I have a lot of information about enemy. This is also not banned. I don't know why. But that's what the situation is, like, if someone wants to use it, he can use it and he won't be banned for it. I'm not sure if it gives so much advantage to the player, but, you know, it's definitely helpful for some players. Uh, I'm not trying to defend these mods, uh, I'm just saying that they are legal to use. Again, I would introduce some of these mods into client and ban other mods. So this is what the situation looks like with mods, uh, whether you like some mods or you don't like some mods, just like I do, just like many other people don't like some mods. Uh, the, the mods you saw in this video are completely legal and I guess we should really address Wargaming about some of these mods. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you, it made some points clear and, well, you can see everything in the description, I will leave the links to all the most important things there so that you can really read it for yourself and check all of that. And thank you for your attention, see you in the next videos.